Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. In today's video, the second video of um, 2024, I want to tell you about uh, everything about entry. Many, many people know how to trade. Many people know how to check the market. They know the patterns. They know everything. But the problem is the entry point. Comment below if that is the problem. Majority of, uh, of traders will buy and then the market sell. And after two, three days, the market will buy the way they had uh, said. So what is limiting majority of traders is the entry point. Do you enter too early? Do you enter too late? Do you enter when you're not supposed to be entering the market? If that is you, this is video. This video will really help you. I, like I'm so sure this is one of the videos that will be helpful in this 2024. It will upgrade your trading skill and it will help you to be able to maneuver around. So the, the title of this video is about knowing how to enter because again, I have taught you so many things and I think we will we'll doing we'll be doing more entry videos tutorial here. So if you open your chart and you on your monthly time frame, uh you will notice that this is a double top. You will notice from a distance that you have a double top there. And noting that on the monthly, uh, on any chart analysis, we prefer monthly to give us direction, you'll be okay to trade this way. You'll be okay to come and say, um, according to monthly, I'm seeing a double top and I'm seeing this bearish angle. So if I'm using WBB strategy, for those who don't know about WBB strategy, I think I've done so many videos, but I can say WBB strategy has three entry signals. The number one is wait for a red candle, and it's this one. Number two signal, you check if it's very shenga, it has engulfed. So we would put a box because already the, the candle has engulfed. That is the WBB strategy. So someone will come and measure half, Sorry, they will measure half. Once they measure that half, they'll be like, oh, the market is now coming down up to the half. And they'll be targeting how many pips? 449 pips. <clears throat> up to there, they have done all the analysis and the analysis are correct. But the problem is, is this entry correct? Do you come and sell immediately? Do you sell immediately and target the 494? Comment down below if that's how you trade. So would you sell immediately or what would you do? I want to hear your views. Would you sell immediately or you would go to lower time frame to get more data? Because majority of traders, and I'm not lying, majority of traders, they know how to set up. They know how to identify double tops, double bottoms, ranging channels. They know how to do all that. The problem comes in when they want to enter and place that trade. That's where the problem comes. So when they want to enter and place that trade, that's where the problem comes in. Now, I want to, 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 to alert you. Anytime monthly is telling you to sell, it's, not, it's good it is telling you to sell, but at the end of the day, banks and whoever controls the market might use be using that as a trap because this bearish engulf can be used can be used as something else so when you when you see a double top like this and the market is telling you to sell i told you any double top has two outcomes anytime you spot a double top and like that anytime you spot a double top it's you to understand that a double top has how many outcome? Two. The market can sell, we are not, it can sell and hit the half, those are 400 pips, but put in mind the same double top, the market can come and reject to sell and break on the upper side. What if the double top that you're thinking will give you a sell, what if it is, it will be used as a cup and handle. So at the end of the day, even if you spot a double top, 
Yes, I know the first instinct we have is selling, but what if this market can just dive, uh, reverse and go up and buy that distance? Because it's not a must the market to, cut, to reach half. It's not about the market reaching half so that it can buy. It can even reach half of the half. The market can be this is the half and the market reaches half of the half. So the market has that, um, this can be your half and the market say, today I will reach half of the half. So there's so much possibility that as much as monthly is telling us to sell, what if the sell can change to a cup in hand? What if the market can come and break out? So at the end of the day, monthly time frame will never give you one-sided uh, entry. They will always give you two-sided ways so that whichever you pick, how the market operates is that where majority of traders goes, the bank will always go against them. So you have to have an idea that this setup can be used as it it can be used twice. It can be used as a sell trade or a buy trade. So when we go to the weekly, now we are not placing a trade. So here you would place a trade, why? Because you have not known other time frames what they are saying, and we really need to do a time frame alignment. So if I come to weekly time frame, this is a new strategy that I have introduced. We are calling it the new strategy that I have introduced in 2024. I have several, but the first one is called 3CB three, three strategy. 3CB strategy is for the students who will pay for my course and those who will come for physical class. But I can just mention, um, I can just mention 3CB is when you see three candlesticks and the three candlesticks are very, very important. So if you spot three candlesticks in your chart, they mean a lot. These candlesticks, green, red, and green, it means a lot. So the strategy is revolving around these three uh, candlesticks. So 3CB means three candlestick break strategy. So you have to know which are those three candlesticks. How do they look like? Are they pin bar, uh, hammer? Are they, are they spinning tops? Are they, those are specific candlesticks that I have been training my students. And um, uh, this strategy, I will first train my students. So if you want either to buy my course, which is $400, you can just WhatsApp me. My number will be in the description box below. Or if you want to come for physical class, January class will start on 15th. I'm so happy because this class, I will be having international students, people who are flying all the way, coming to Kenya to attend more free effect academy. I'm so excited for everyone who is committing to come to the physical class. If you have plans to come for physical class, you're most welcome. These are strategies that will be pushing in uh, uh, 2024. So, when I flip, I see this 3CB strategy, and because I don't want to talk about it, um, I can see that the market is ranging. Let's just say on the weekly, the market is ranging. So whenever the market is ranging, there's no way you can be sure to sell. There is no way you're being told to sell when the market is ranging. These are ranging markets. And you can see the previous candle is this green momentum candle. So yes, monthly is telling you to sell, but when you flip on the weekly time frame, the fact that there is a small range and the fact that the last week the market closed with a green candle, it is canceling the idea of selling. That I told you, before you sell, you have to do what? time frame alignment. So when you go to weekly, weekly is telling us pause. Don't sell, don't buy. You see, weekly has the vibe of, we don't know where the market wants to go. Why? Because it can either break this ranging on the upper side or it can break on below side. So on the weekly time frame, it is strictly telling us avoid. Remember monthly is shouting step. Sell now. In fact, you're supposed to sell. But when you go to weekly, what is happening? The weekly time frame is telling us, pause. Don't sell. Don't buy. Let's try to go to daily time frame. What do you think daily time frame is telling us? It is still on the same zone. So daily time frame, when I look at the left, I can't see any like a double bottom. There's nothing. These are green candles. There's no support. So there's nothing. I can't see anything. And um, according to 
to to to the daily the market even has started to break structure can you see the market breaks that structure so this is one of the key points that you have to understand that the market has broken on the support zone and this one can confuse you if you really want to sell because if you assume what weekly is saying if you assume that this market is arranging and you have to wait for either side to break you will come if you jump weekly automatically you'll come to the to the to the daily and you'll start saying oh daily we have break of structure which is true we have break of structure you say oh we have bos uh the market the sellers are stronger and i'm not refusing them sellers are stronger but they have done that purposely for you to be uh to see that so anything that the banks and the market makers they leave there is for you to notice this and because you have noticed it they have accomplished their mission now uh, we don't have any other pattern because we don't have a double bottom. We don't have anything. Now, on the daily, the only thing we can do is either we have um, we have an activation of a double top, like this market, come here and activate here. Or we wait for the market to do what? To break that zone. And that's exactly what you have said on the weekly. Let's allow this market to come out of this ranging. So even daily, they are green because this is the previous resistance. So if at all we see market breaking that resistance, we are thinking that the market will go this distance of the range. It will be a new pattern we call, we call it ranging break at resistance. It goes that distance and the market will buy up. Now, let me show you something. Let me first delete everything and show you something. So on the daily, note from monthly, we are being told to sell because of this double top here. Monthly, sell because of this double top. So are you selling? No. And you see, the, selling, the sell looks enticing because it's 400 and something pips. Let's see how many pips. If you sell according to how the monthly is telling you, telling you you'll get 480, almost 500 pips. But when you come to weekly, weekly is the one that is telling us don't do anything because I'm recapping because of those people who say I talk fast. So weekly, uh, you can see it is ranging. So it is making you stop. I'm training you how to enter. You don't enter because monthly has said. Before you enter, you have to ask yourself, yes, monthly has said to sell, but is weekly supporting the same, the same thing? Yeah, so weekly, it is the ranging. And then you come to daily. Now daily, market, yes, they broke. We have here BOS, but the market is buying. So we are thinking what could stop this market from buying to come back to sell? Only this double top. If they can activate this double top, the market can bounce back. So if the market can come to this level, it can bounce back to this place, you see? Now, we need to understand one thing. For us to remove the idea of sell, the market has to break that resistance, okay? So here we are not now doing anything. We will wait according to how weekly say it, we have to relax. So we wait, first day, second day, third day, fourth day, and the market activates. And you see, we have an activation of that double top. So we have at least a pattern. I always tell you that patterns are very powerful. For me, I feel funny not working with either a double top or a double bottom. So we have that possible double top there. So this possible double top, it's, it's trying to tell us that this is our neckline and this is our half. You see, this is our half. So it's either the market breaks this green line so that we can be told we can now enter sell. So if this pattern, if this pattern agrees, and you see, at the end of the day, if they break half, then they break a neckline, guess what? On the weekly time frame, that ranging will have been broken and the market will sell to the take profit of the monthly. So it is that easy. Now, let's see what really happened. You see, 
you have gotten a bearish angle, but the fact that the bearish angle and the half are so near, how many pips are these? 12 pips. I don't encourage anyone to enter such a trade. Just wait for that half to be broken so that you can enter the market. If you enter the 12 pips, the take profit was hit, but the question is, are they are they raking half? Because we want the half to be broken like that. And I tell many people, I tell people like this: don't be biased when you're trading. In this case, don't be so obsessed that you want the market to break that half. Why? You already know that a double top can give you two outcomes. A double top can give you a cup in hand. So you can have this, this is a cup. And you can have this as a handle. So a double top can also give you a cup and handle. And we already know that a cup and handle will go which distance? Will go upward distance. So don't be so, so biased with a sell. Already, if you spot a double top, it's your mind to tell you the same double top can turn to a fail double top, which is a cup and handle, and it can give you a buy. Imagine a double top giving you a buy. So you have everything settled. And, and again, you are saying, if they break this neckline, if they break this half, then they break neckline, they are going this distance. So at the end of the day, your mind is planned. You're not planned for one direction. You are planned for all direction. Why? Because once you're planned for all direction, you are easily, you are easily, you, you will shift easily. And like when, you don't even understand what is happening. You see, like that. So you can see that the market can give you that. So it's either they give you this double top, complete one, they come here, they break half, they break neckline, they continue, or they break above. And you see, now we have to wait. Understand, as we are waiting weekly, it is just straightforward. Wait for the direction the market will break to. So if you don't want all these struggles, you don't want, and mind you, I have not gone to four hour because four hour we go to look for entry, but we have not even gotten a confirmation to buy or to sell. So once daily gives us a buy confirmation, what do you do? You can now go to four hour. So you cannot touch four hour when you're still in confusion. We don't go to lower time frame if the daily time frame we cannot elaborate. And that's why the reason why we went on daily is because already we know weekly for us to get confirmation, they have to break the channel. Now let's go to four and see if we have a problem. So you wait, you wait, and guess what? The market does what? The market breaks. The market breaks that double top. This is to tell you what? Whenever the market breaks that double top, it's telling you what? It is telling you that we are going half of this distance. Like that's how cup and handle is, uh, is activated. If you have never known how cup and handle works, let me, um, let me remove this. So that's how cup and handle works. Cup and handle, you can see the first attempt, these are first attempt. And then there was second attempt. And then the market has broken both first and second. You can see that's how our cup and handle is formed. Once the cup and handle is formed, there are two things. You can buy immediately. You can buy immediately to the half. That is 179 pips. Or, or you, can, you can come and put a buy order because most majority of the time I told you what whenever the market breaks whenever the market breaks any resistance or support there will be an uh, there will be you will feel a retracement so we don't know how far the retracement will be but anytime the market breaks a structure most 99% the market do retrace. So if you're my student, I teach about BWA strategy and BWA strategy is very powerful to know because it talks of four types of retracement. That's what I teach on BWA. There are four types of retracement and all these types of retracement, they will help you to be able to make the right decision. 
So at the end of the day, the only thing I can tell you that will help you and upgrade and improve your trading results, be mindful of the candle that break a structure. You see this big candle? This candle that breaks structure, uh, the, the end of it, that week, that's where you come and put your trade. Because the market tend to come back, and these are many pips, 128. So you'll come and put your buy order on that area. You'll come and put your buy order. And you can even do a, a one trade here because this one, it will go to this direction. You'll come and do one trade. You'll come and do one trade, but you will use the lowest lot size, like 0 0.01. So even if you're taken on 100 drawdown, 100 pips, that is $10. But the one that you're putting 0 0.2 as the mini lot or the standard lot, come and put it here. So the best sniper entry, the best good entry that you can leverage and risk is where the candle that break. Let me show you. If we have, um, if this is our resistance, if that's our resistance, and we had a green candle, And then we have another green. And then we have the last one, green like that. And the market breaks with a very big body. Uh, what, I found, what I found to happen, majority of time, what happens in such a trade, the market can retrace back to this level. So if the, if the week is like that, the market can retrace back. You see the whole of this candle, you see between here, that's where the market is, can go up to. It's something I've tested and it is working. So if you are sure that this market has break structure, I can look for buys, don't buy above here. Come and put your buy orders on this candle. And I think this is something we will practice in a new video where I'm showing you how to, to master retracement. So if the market breaks resistance, do what? Come and, and mark your week even and can be long. If the week is long, come and mark the zone. So the zone is there from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. And then now this is the area you can put your buy order. So the market mostly comes and tap here and then does what? And then goes up. So let's with this example already we know where the market is going so we have put our buy order around here so we will put our buy order so let me show you we'll put our buy order around here and first day what happens nothing much happens second day the market imagine one candle one candle comes back to the same area that I'm talking about. So majority of people who enter this trade, they were taken on a drawdown of 139. If you had a, like 0 0.01, .01, that is $13. And then now your orders will be activated. And it doesn't mean that the market cannot go further. It doesn't mean that. It's at least it's the favorable area. So the second day, the market also continued you can see the market from your entry, the market went another 67 pips. It is good than that person who entered when the market was here and they were taken a drawdown of 200 pips. So with this, it will govern you not to be so careless. You won't be so careless. So at the end of the day, instead of getting a drawdown of 200, you'll get a drawdown of 60. You'll get a drawdown of 60. So this candle that breaks is what we always look at. This candle that we that breaks the market is what governs us on where to put our buy order. And now, at the end of the day, yes, you want the market to come here and you have placed your take profit. So the trade was from there and you have placed your take profit. Note, you're monitoring your trade. So from here so far, you have 81 pips. Let's see what, how the market is, is going. So the market comes down again, comes down again. Start, and you see what is happening around this area is giving you doubts, giving you not, as in making you not be confident, 
play with your psychology, the fact that we have break of structure, the fact that you have a pattern that we call cup and handle, this one, imagine for how many days? So one, you entered here by one, two, three, four, five, a whole week has ended just in one place. And, and the market has stretched, has stretched now 75 pips. You draw down, then you get into profit, then you go to draw down, then you get into profit. And let's see what happened to this trade. So the trade comes and what happens is that the market gives you so much money and they are remaining with 39 pips. What I need you to understand is that when you have got all these pips from the entry point to there, you have more than 205 pips. I don't want you to keep holding to TP. I want you to close that trade. Why? Because the fact that the market has broken another resistance. Majority of people don't pay attention on this thing. So the, the way you are entering will affect the way you are exiting. Note, we were so confident to enter this trade because of break of structure. And again, we have another break of structure. So break of structure should trigger what? Should trigger a retracement. And I keep telling people, as much as we are, we are talking of uh, break of structure, it should trigger a retracement and it should come to this level. Can you see this level? This is the level that retracement should come in. So when you have your money, 200 pips, guess what? That money can come down back. It can be stolen by the banks and whoever, and you give it back. So understanding that alone can help you a lot. So this trade is possible. See, I've told you, I've told you when the market breaks structure, they tend to retrace back to that candle that broke. So having that understanding that the market can flip back just close that trade. And once you close the trade, you're wondering, when the market just break like this, what is really happening? And then you are waiting for the retracement and you get this red candle. So when you get this red candle, the question is, why did the market stop? It's not like we have a, re a, a resistance. It's not like we have a double top. Why would this market stop? And that is the chance now we are going to fall. Because now, according to daily, we are out of information. We have no information. Data is completed. There is no way the market was buying so well and all of a sudden the market has stopped. These are questions I need you to be asking yourself. Whenever the market breaks a structure and you're trying to think, majority will say it has retraced. Who told you this is the enough retracement? Enough retracement is ending of this candle. Majority, they don't reach here. But we have to check on four hours what is happening. When you go to four hours, this is what happening. This is the retracement we are seeing. And when you flip on the left side, you have a double top that is not on the daily. Guys, can you see what I'm saying? So these are some of the things that you need to be very careful. So imagine from a cup and handle, from a cup and handle to a, to a double top, from a cup and handle, to a from a cup and handle to a double top. And now you need to understand one thing, that this double top, is it on the, this double top, is it on the daily? Let's go. Is it on the daily? It's not on the daily. So at the end of the day, now, Majority will now focus on this cup and handle. I want it to reach half. I want it to reach half. They don't understand. Some things have changed. Now we have a new pattern. You just delete everything and start afresh. So majority will be stuck with daily pattern. They'll be stuck with this daily pattern, waiting for the market to complete, and they are not aware that on four hour, we have a new pattern. And this new pattern, happens to be a double top only on four hour, which is very, very powerful. Guys, if you can only trade like this, just be trading bits and bits and bits, and you'll make a lot of money 2024. Just be trading bits and bits. If you find that there's a OPT, just forgo the other pattern and start with the new pattern. And if, if at all you have your half, how do we enter 
a double top on fall. Understand the journey of this trip. We came from monthly where we had a double top with a berry shenga. We went to weekly where we had a ranging. And now we are going to daily when we had a double top that turned to be cup and handle. Now we are back again to double top that is only on four hour. And we are using which strategy? CSB, current support break. Current support break is where you identify a, a support. So let's continue and see what happens. So we have identified our support because a support is created when red candle is followed by green. You come and do what? You place your support like that. So at the end of the day, it's either they break here or they don't. Because if they don't and they break above, what will they give us? If this market comes and break above, they'll give us a big inverted cup and handle. So the market will go which distance, this one. So never be biased to the market saying, oh, it has to sell, it has to sell. You have to monitor the market not to come with a green candle and break that because now it will no longer be a sell, but a buy. So you have to be very careful what is happening. So you, your work now is to wait for the next candle. So the market flip like that and they break. Imagine having a very a golden opportunity. And majority of those, everyone who is on the daily time frame, they are doing what? They are they are buying because they have an inverted cup in handle. So for you, you'll come and sell, and we are selling up to where? We are selling up to the half. So selling up to the half, how many pips are those? We have 115 pips. Imagine getting 115 pips from just a trade that you have realized, oh, there's a double top. And this double top happens to be OPT. And then we wait and see what happens to that double top. So this is patient. Once you get into the trade, have patience to wait to see how the market will fall and the tip is hit. So the question is, the question is, guys, at the end of the day, because I don't want, we can keep on going up and down and this pattern can still change, give us another pattern. I don't want, I want to end this video here. I just want to show you from monthly what happened. Let me hide from monthly. So we had a double top, the market never sold. In fact, when we went on the weekly, you remember the channel that we were talking about, this channel? it was broken. So on the weekly, weekly is telling us this is a strong buy. So even if you come here on the weekly, let me delete, show you. On the weekly, there, there's someone who waited for the channel to be broken. And they say, for me, I will, I will enter buy if the channel is broken. And don't think channel, channel trading is easy. It needs a lot of patience. Once the channel was broken, these people waited for one, two, three, three weeks before the market even did anything. So the channel was completing there. So we will see if the channel was breaking. So there's this pattern, there's the pattern. So at the end of the day, from monthly giving us a double top and a double top having a bearish end up and weekly breaking above the channel, of course, you already know what the market will do. But Everyone who placed a buy trade because the channel broke, they were taken on how many drawdown? 180 pips. And again, they, they stayed for how many weeks? Three good weeks. Three good weeks waiting for the market to go their way. So they stayed for so long. So let's see what happened after they waited for three weeks. Did the market eventually go to their direction? Did it hit their take profit? Let's see. So the market hit their take profit, but after how long? So the, the entry was here. We stayed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh week, that's when the TP was hit for the pattern on the weekly. Let's, let's see the daily pattern. The daily pattern, we had a double, uh, a double top that turned to be a cup and handle. You notice we had, we had so many different patterns. From monthly giving us double top, weekly giving us ranging channel, daily giving us um, a uh, cup and handle. So did this cup and handle complete? The question is, did it complete? Can you see? Did it complete? Yes. 
it completed the market was hit so guys exactly what do i say what do i mean and by the time by the time four hour was giving us this double top can you remember the double top on four hour the double top on four hour by the time the double top was four hour was giving us a trade and you would have measured and see oh the why did the market buy and it had broken her the question is the market came and created a new pattern account here. So if you go to daily, this is a zone where we have a double bottom, this one. So the market created a new pattern. And, and like it had so many patterns in one. Bottom line, what am I trying to teach you? I'm trying to tell you, have patience. Once you see a pattern, go slow. Just Say, if this one is, is on the monthly, I'll go on the weekly. If it's on the weekly, daily, daily for hour until you get everything aligning. That's why you can trade. Monthly can say sell and weekly say buy and it's okay. So you just need to move with whichever you are comfortable. Because if weekly tells you it will buy, even if it is says three, seven weeks, it will still buy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you, will, you have learned a lot. I hope... Um, you are trading will will change and you will make money all the best guys love you so much bye bye love you